I know of a construction company Taoiseach who wanted to exit out of NAMA. So they asked the manager of portfolio, could this happen? And he says, yeah, he says, but it'll cost you 15,000 in cash. Hello and welcome to the week in politics as the Doyle rose for the summer recess and weary TDs returned to their constituencies, mindful no doubt that when they return in September, the countdown will be well underway to the general election. Before that, of course, there'll be the current coalition's final budget, the focus of discussion this week at the National Economic Dialogue in Dublin Castle. The banking inquiry, which this week heard from former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern, is due to deliver its final report before the year's end. And we should also hear if Irish Water, which has collected charges from fewer than half of liable households, has passed the Euro stat market test, allowing it to operate as a standalone company. Do you want to have time, Mr. Um, I, I don't believe it was, Deputy, because um, in, in that period, uh, the income uh, for, for that year uh, was going way higher than the department said. If hindsight was foresight, you know, I'd be a billionaire and so would you. Well, thanks. Morning, Ryan. And morning, isn't it? We wanted to play catch up in having a first world infrastructure, an improvement in public services that was needed. We needed to improve public services, Deputy. You would only apologise for things that you think you got very much wrong, or you made a mistake, or a big mistake, or a series of large mistakes. I don't believe that I did. The victims are the tens of thousands of families, ordinary people around this country who became victims of the axis of collusion between Anglo-Irish Bank and Fianna Fáil and the bankers in general. That was the Taoiseach's bold assertion in the Dáil Chamber in 2013. But has the banking inquiry really established such a link? Isn't it clear that, or is it, or do you disagree that you were in fact encouraging the worst excesses of the banks? You're setting me up as some sort of guy who's promoting cowboy uh, speculators. I'm not deputy. I'm not, don't travel in those circles at all. Can you now describe the main aspects of the relationship between Fianna Fáil and the building and the construction industry? It was a social occasion and um, I, I wish I had been able to influence maybe some of those people but uh, I, I, I don't I mean, I, I heard your questions previously about this and you, you seem to have a bit of an obsession with the Fianna Fáil tent, as many, many people have. What were people paying for in that case, coming to the Galway tent? If it wasn't for some access to ministers, to the Taoiseach, what, 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 what would they pay? Well, it usually rained in Galway race week, so at least you had a tent to stay dry. I don't think that's the answer I was Well, you got a bit about. of food, you got a bit of food and a bit of fun. And, you know, some people met their wives-to-be and things like that in it. 